I am so excited. Today is probably my favorite day of the year, and I'm already cheering up because of it. <laughs> it's the first day of Advent. Oh, hallelujah is right. So if you don't know what Advent is, Advent means coming. And it's this um, four weeks before Christmas comes when we as the church, we can posture ourselves to first um, joyfully celebrate the first coming of Jesus. We can wait in hopeful expectation for his second coming and then um, receive his coming into our lives today and every day. Um, it's become the most special time of year when my family just receives um, and soaks in Jesus and remembers, just like we saying that he is greater. He is greater than he who is in the world. There is no one that can match God. No one. And we can live in that victory today. We can. And he's coming back. And we know that. We long and we wait. But we do it in hope. Right? And so um, my family, it's a time when we recenter and we refocus and we refresh our spirits in the person of Jesus, that he is with us. So it's really special. And so we thought, well, why don't we observe Advent as a church family? Why don't we do it together? Um, I personally, I don't know about you, but this has been a year of intense spiritual attack. And so I feel like I need it more than any other year probably, and maybe you do too. Um, so the way we're going to do that is we actually made Advent calendars for each of your households that you get to take home today um, as you leave. And on those calendars, each day has a scripture reading or like a fun activity um, or discussion point to um, engage in as a family just to soak um, in the four themes of Advent, which are hope, peace, joy, and love and truly like opening before we open any gifts on Christmas morning we need to be opening the gifts of hope the gift of peace the gift of joy and the gift of love we need those we need those from Jesus so I just want to pray for us because just like we've all been clapping and cheering and um, feeling the presence of God I feel like this season um, is a game changer for the church. It has to be. <laughs> and I, I believe that God is ready and he has it all ready for us, but he's just like, wake up, wake up church, receive it, receive me, I'm here, right? And so I wanna pray off anything that is coming against that in the name of Jesus and that we are open and ready to receive what God has in a new way because doesn't God always do things that surprise us? Just like sending a baby to rescue all of creation. That's pretty shocking, right? <laughs> so God can do anything he wants and he can do it in any way he wants. And so we, I don't want us like kind of um, assuming or, or putting different expectations on God than just saying, God, whatever way you want, come into my life. So Jesus, we break off shame in the name of Jesus. We break off pride in the name of Jesus. We break off survival mode in the name of Jesus. We break off distraction in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Jesus, that you would help us to remember to receive you all that you are, we want to encounter you. We are so hungry for you. Whatever way you want to come, help us to open the gifts that you have for us. We love you. Amen.